Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, we are going to walk through the simple and easy way to face swap in an animation with Stable Diffusion Comfy UI. It's also possible to perform multiple character face swaps in a video clip. Using Reactor Face Swap in Comfy UI, the process is even simpler than when using it in Automatic 11.11. By the end of this video, you will know how to create a workflow in Comfy UI and reuse it every time you need face swap for animation. First, we need to install this custom node in Comfy UI. We will use Comfy UI Manager to install it. Search for the name Reactor Node for Comfy UI. Click the Install button and then restart your Comfy UI. As mentioned earlier, we already have a workflow for the Animate Diff video to video process. We will continue with this workflow by adding the face swap feature to it. In the previous tutorial, we added the IPA adapter for image prompting to create a unique style for our results based on the reference image. We will continue to use these features in this workflow. In this workflow, we are using the line art model in our control net group and it remains unchanged. Then the processing data flows to the AnimateDiff custom notice. This is the part where we generate the animation video clip. We are going to create the reactor face swap node group after the latent upscale and K sampler. In this group, the first thing we need is the reactor face swap processor node. It might not appear in the right click menu. To enable it, double click and type reactor. Then you will see this node. Select it in the workflow. By connecting this node to our workflow first, create a load image node for the source and target image to connect with. This is where you load up your character's face image. Next, connect the VAE decode image to the reactor face swap nodes input image. Now, set the source, face index and input face index as 0. In this example, I am doing a face swap for only one character. Lastly, connect the output image from the reactor node to video combine images. Frame rate should be set to 24 and the format to MP4 with these settings unchanged from the previous tutorial. That's all you need for a single character face swap at this point. Click Q prompt and wait for the result. As you can see, the animation result has a rainbow style, shiny color from the IP adapter. And the character's face in the dance is using our face swap source image. You can preview each frame image in the upscale image section, which captures all frames from the video source as well as the preview images from ControlNet results. So how do we apply this workflow for multiple character face swaps in one animation video clip? Let's load another new video generation. This time, we are generating a new video to video animation. In this case, the source video has two characters dancing. The case sampler is processing. In the meanwhile, let's take a look at how I connect the face swap nodes for the two characters in separate images. As you can see, I have another generated animation. On the right side, we have two sets of reactive face swap custom nodes connecting in this workflow. This disconnected video combine node was generated previously as I tested without reactive face swap involved. I wanted to show you how the character faces look on this video without reactive faces swap. And this video combine node is using the reactive faces swap node in the AI generation process. 
Uh, so in the reactor faces swap group, first we handle the left character in the animation. Uh, we set zero for the source face index and input face index. This reactor node that connects with its load image is going to handle the left character. And for the character on the right side, we set one for source face index and input face index. The reactor face swap detects faces from left to right, starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. We need two sets of reactor nodes here because I am using two separate image sources. If you have an image with two characters in one image, you can use one reactor node connected to one load image to handle this. Then set the source face index and input face index as 0, 1, this workflow can be saved and reused the next time you want to generate a video animation like this. In contrast to Automatic 11.11, it does not save the settings or workflow for reuse. You can check out the Reactor Faces Swap in Automatic 11.11 tutorial in our previous video. It also explains how to do face swaps using Reactor for one character or multiple characters. I hope this tutorial helps with some common questions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Keep inspiring, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, happy animating, have a great day.